All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that tour of the first floor. We got the second floor in the basement left. I say, let's go downstairs and then we'll go upstairs and we'll finish with that second floor. So let's go downstairs and see what's happening down in the basement. All right, so made our way down to the basement. Why don't we save the media room for the end? We'll do a quick walk around down here. Um, we'll go start in the back end of the basement here. So I'm gonna take a quick tour. A lot's been happening down here. They've been insulating for acoustical purposes, for thermal purposes. Um, and you can see they did a bunch of overhead work too. So they have a bunch of the machinery covered up, but we're in one of the utility spaces here. Um, you can see we have our Renew Air ERV, so that's pumping in. Outdoor air gets filtrated. It's an energy recovery ventilator, so we don't pay the penalty for the heated air that we've purchased via using the Mitsubishi system, right? It goes through that, you strip the heat off, it gets put on that incoming air, and it goes into the house as heated air from the energy that we had already purchased. So in here, this isn't gonna get much more insulation. Um, we'll put our ignition barrier over the outside of the wall. We have our two inches of closed cell on our wood framed wall. You can see we have our one of our radon pipes here rising up through the system. Um, going through the door here, this is the homeowner's office. Now, one of the things that we did here was we made sure these windows were low enough so they met the egress requirements. This room is certainly sized appropriately to become a bedroom via code, as well as it has the right proportion of daylight that also meets code. So the 44 inch or less opening to the exterior makes this in, in fact a bedroom. So if they ever wanted to sell the house, then they could include this in the listing as a bedroom or basement office space. Um, you can see a bunch of the protection here. Um, a lot of stuff happening in the attic. They sprayed some open cell around it. We're using that for acoustical purposes. This is the back side of the media room, or if you remember in some of the previous videos, it is in fact a double wall. So if I pull this down, you'll see there's another wall here that is also insulated, but there's a little space of about an inch and a half in between them. So we don't want the interior wall or ceiling to touch any part of the main structure of the house. It is basically totally isolated in its own right as the media room. Coming out of that office space, we have a small powder room here. So we have the sink and toilet happening there. Um, remember all that stuff, we just have so much stuff. Um, and then this breaks into the large kind of rec room, hangout room, fitness room. It's actually, I just call it a flex room because it's a room that the homeowners, you know, they're probably gonna have a couch in here. Uh, a TV, but they also have the ability to either put a pool table or, you know, some kind of recreational stuff, or they could in fact put a bike and a treadmill and use it. So it's one of those spaces that can kind of become <clears throat> whatever the need is at the moment. Um, and then continuing in here, you can see here, this is one of the uh, other utility spaces. So we have a bunch of lighting controls. We have our Lutron box here. We have a bunch of our plumbing coming in here to the water heater. We have our ejection pump on the other side of the basement bathroom, which ejects up and uh, puts our puts the stuff into the sewer line. Coming down here, you can see through the framing, we have yet another HVAC system. We have our April air um, system over there. We have another Renew Air, as well as we have an April Air humidifier here. We have our two boxes. These are Tesla panels. So these are 
um, managing all of our PV. You can see here's that armored cable that uh, is coming down from our PV systems. And then, you know, <clears throat> in the kind of construction review stage, we limited the space here to a little over three feet. And the reason we did that is we have our 600 amps here of power and we need three feet in front of that to get access. Plus we cannot have any plumbing above it. So those are all driven by code. So this wall intentionally got stopped at that location primarily because we needed this access for the uh, <clears throat> electrical panel. You can see here all of this plumbing here. This is our electrical service coming in, our second sump pump there. And then if you wanted to come over here, you can get a nice shot of our HVAC system. I'll switch places with you. <clears throat> you can see HVAC um, subcontractor just did a beautiful job. Our electrical contractor here did a beautiful job. We have the giant raceway behind here. And then all of this stuff goes out, literally out the corner over there and goes out to the service in the street. But even the plumber did a beautiful job bringing everything down. And you can see in the corner there, they did a beautiful job running that out <coughs> to the street there. So staking this stuff around, uh, you know, around these rooms, it really becomes, you know, you've heard me talk about clean basement and dirty basement. And, you know, when you say, Steve, what do you mean by dirty basement? Well, look up, right? Dirty basement is all this stuff needs a home. It needs to go somewhere, right? You can't build a house like this and not provide spaces for that. So there's a utility corridor here that we push that ceiling up so we can put all this stuff in. And because it's a utility room, we're allowed to see it, we're allowed to get access. And you know, one of the things about Brian that I absolutely love, you know, when you get access to stuff, he makes sure that access is maintained. So if you have a, you know, a, a pipe here, sewer pipe, where you need to have access to be able to snake that pipe, you, have, you don't get that closed in. I've been in a lot of houses where you see that pipe and it gets jammed up next to ductwork. And even though you have access, you really don't have access. But all of this stuff in here means that the ceiling in here can be nice and clean. So this will get drywalled and uh, you'll have a nice room. There's no drop soffits. There's nothing happening here. The one pipe that we had to deal with, you can see, we put it along the wall and just frame the wall up to it and frame the wall above it. And so that is basically buried in the wall. We'll have a little drywall access panel here so that we can get access to that. And then obviously the stairs, but like I said, we'll finish down here in the uh, media room. But one of the things I wanted to point out, notice we have a wood framed wall here, has acoustical mineral wool insulation there. And then here we have the media room wall, which is also acoustically separated from that wall and insulated. So we have a 10 foot ceiling in here. Um, obviously the screen and all of the media stuff is gonna go on the wall there. We have a tiered stage back there. So we get one row of chairs across the front, a second row of chairs across the back side there. And then <clears throat> let me pull a piece of this out. And uh, you can see here, the way we insulate the basement, we have our two inches of closed cell. It doesn't come in front of the frame. The frame is in fact framed two inches above. So we get continuity in that closed cell. And then a three and a half inch R15 mineral wool bat goes on the front side of that. But uh, yeah. You can come in here, yell all you want. Not many people are going to hear you. All five sides, four walls and ceiling are acoustically separated physically and via insulation from the rest of the house. So we'll uh, hopefully do a video, come down here when everything's hooked up, we'll crank it up and then we'll step outside and see if we can hear it. So we'll test it. But until then, 
that's all we got. That's the full tour of the basement here. Hopefully you enjoyed that. We're gonna jump upstairs. We'll go check out that second floor and uh, close out the progress for this week out at the uh, New Age Estate. So if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Um, thanks for joining in the discussion. Leave a comment there if you got some questions. I'll be sure to uh, come around and answer it when I get the chance. If you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. Go tell all your friends. Got to check out Steve on his YouTube channel, Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, it's where we're talking building science, architecture, and that knitted quilt we call both. Yeah. Anyways, until next time, you know the deal. Long live our buildings.